Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Monster Sanctuary. Now, I've done a couple videos uh, mentioning this game, but I haven't actually played it, so I'm finally excited to be able to play it. I just finished the Monster Crown beta, so Monster Sanctuary time. Now, um, before we begin, I do have a giveaway going on for Monster Sanctuary. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. If you guys are interested, just uh, click it and go check it out. Uh, we got about 50 people entered, so the odds are pretty high considering uh, for this type of giveaway. So you, know, you got about a 2% chance of winning right now. So anyway, go check it out if you're interested, and uh, let's just jump right in. Oh, we, we already know what I'm being named. And by the way, uh, this game, for those wondering, is controller compatible. In fact, they recommend that you use a controller. So. I'm currently using a Xbox One controller. Uh, yes, you heard that correctly. I have an Xbox One controller, despite not even owning an Xbox One. Um, I got it before I realized that there's a way to set up your PS4 controller on on uh, on, <laughs> on your computer. There's like a program you could use, but this is more native, so it's easier to uh, to use. But anyway, let's uh, let's get into this. The Monster Sanctuary is a land far away from any human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Most people of the Monster Sanctuary live in Keeper Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves monster keepers. Dude, I'm, I, I'm hyped to play this game. If you don't know what Monster Sanctuary is, um, it's like a Metroidvania mixed with turn-based battling. It's really, it, like, it's a really interesting concept. Okay, so these are the starters, I'm assuming. Starter video coming soon. <laughs> Spectral Wolf. Seems kind of balanced. Okay, this one's got a higher attack, and I, I don't know why there's a separation between the uh, the bars, but if you look at attack magic, uh, like some of them have uh, a separation and then extra bars after. I don't know if those are like just the differences or something. Like everyone, yeah, everyone has, oh no, see, see this one has five attack, five magic, but it doesn't have a, a separation. Interesting. Okay. Um, are, are the extra bars, the, the stats that like this, like for example, the, uh, spectral lion here, health and mana, he has the highest health and mana. So no, he doesn't. Okay. So I, I don't know why they're separated. Uh, we're going with the eagle though. Oh yeah. He's my familiar. Among the most prestigious monster keepers, uh, keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of these blood by, bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Okay. Gym leader Ed is just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. As with starting all monster keepers, as with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins at the keeper's trial. <laughs> his bloodline's familiar bears uh, the form of a spectral eagle. I'm, I'm hyped. Maybe you're familiar. Oh, okay, so it's not an actual monster, I guess. Like it is, but it's not. Okay, what should I name it? Wait, how do I? Oh, whatever. Okay. Okay, what should I name it? Hmm. You know what? Okay, so I got I actually I got bamboozled. I, I I didn't really play Steam before I started doing YouTube. So what I ended up uh, what ended up happening is uh, Roxas, one of my subscribers, he's in the uh, the Discord. Uh, he he gifted me Monster Sanctuary, and I didn't know that if I hit no, it would refund him. So I hit yes, and then I find out later that I could have hit no. <laughs> so. Th that kind of tied into the Monster Sanctuary giveaway as well. Because he gave it to me for free, I said, well, sh well, 
I was gonna swear. I was gonna say a swear. I was gonna get demonetized. <laughs> I said, well, hey, if he's gonna give me the game and now I'm kind of stuck with it, I might as well get a get a copy and then give it away. So th that that's kind of where that mentality came in. It's not a very, it's not a super expensive game, but I'm gonna name it Roxas. That, 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 that was a tangent I was getting on anyway. It's not a super expensive game or anything, but um, like, like still, like I really appreciate that, man. I, I'm sure you're watching this, so I, I appreciate that. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Oh, Roxas is a douchebag. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you as well, and they will fight with you. The best way to gain monsters oil is to hatch it from an egg. Of course, you'll have to fight and get those monster eggs. Oh. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you live up to your ancestors. This is cool. You can jump pretty damn high, eh? I don't even need the eagle. Okay. Okay, so we have a stamina bar and we have a regular health bar. Now, now this game does focus on uh, 3v3. So, or it's not stamina, it's mana. Yeah, it is a 3v3 game, but this is just uh, the first thing. So let's just use uh, explosion. Get out of here, bro. Yo, you got me poisoned? Oh, a buff info, what's this? Poison. Monster loses temper. Okay, so it's cool that it has a, a little uh, blurb there. Okay. Uh, lightning bolt. I, j I honestly, I just want to see the uh, animation, so let's go with lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, that's dope. I wonder if the poison lasts forever. Okay, feather storm. Victory. Ah, okay, apparently I suck. So you get stars based on uh, how well you do, I guess. Oh, and I got an egg. Oh, so that's, a okay. There we go, you received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Tr try? What do you mean try? Oh, okay. What happened? What, can, can it fail? <laughs> I'm uh, its name's just Blob. Okay, uh, Blob? More like Berry. See, because they start with B. They both start with B. I, okay, you know what? For this game, I think I'm just gonna name all of my uh, all of my monsters after subscribers. All right, so we got Barry Bandits the next one. That is your first monster you hatched by yourself. Right now, it's weak, so you'll need to train it. There's much more for you to learn too. You and that blob are quite alike. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Let's continue on the keeper's trail. It'll uh, lead us to old Buren. He is a, 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 a okay, cool. All right. Heal. Oh, okay, this works. Okay, so I can just use a blob as a support, it looks like. Okay. Oh, the attacks are instantaneous, too. Okay. So it's a little different. It's, it's like Cyrillum. So if anyone's played Cyrillum, or Cyrillum, sorry, it's Cyrillum, that's how you pronounce it. Um, if anyone's played Cyrillum before, uh, the attacks are instantaneous. So once your speed tier is up, you attack and the attack goes off right away. So it seems like this is the same. Let's go with Lightning Storm. Yo, who are you healing, dog? Uh, 
Arcane Bolt. Let's go with Explosion's not gonna kill. Okay, I'm a little confused on how Lightning Bolt works. <laughs> Why does it do so much damage? But yeah, yeah, explosion seems to do less, but it has one times. Oh, because it's one times, that's why. So three times 55 is going to be more than one. Okay, that makes sense. Six times 25, so 150%. Interesting. And is there a reason why they're going to hit both targets now? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. My bad. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting used to the. Uh, no, that's 60. We'll use this. I'm just trying to get used to the interface here. I like to go into these games as blind as I possibly can. Like, obviously, I have to cover a few things here and there for the news, and I have to get a general sense for how these games work. But uh, I, I try not to be... I, I try not to spoil myself too much on how the game's mechanics work. That, that, that's why, like, for example, I, I've talked about Monster Crown quite a lot on this channel, but I haven't done too many deep dives, especially lately. Because when a game's already out and you haven't played it, it's a lot harder to uh, come up with like speculation and stuff than it is for a game that's not already out. So for example, Kindred Fates, that game's not out, so I have access to all the known information without actually playing it. So that's why with like Monster Crown and Coromon, I, I took longer to uh, make more videos about them because I wanted to beat them first. So it, it's the same with Monster Sanctuary. Once I understand the systems, you guys can expect uh, videos about this game because I, I love Metroidvania style games and I love creature keeping, so this is perfect. What's this? Young young Keeper, Tis the Keeper's tra Trails... Be tis the Keeper's Trails Beginning. For all of man, beast, and sanctuary has a beginning. Okay. Same. Okay, I'm fighting this. So I guess these familiars, they're, I, I, I guess you could say that they're starters. I'm just trying to think what to name this episode. Like choosing our starter. That's usually what I go for for the first episode of any monster tamer game I play because it's, it's a pretty basic title, but it incorporates the idea. Okay, so is there? Can you see what type everything is? Because obviously stuff has types. This thing's clearly weak to fire. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Weak to fire resists uh, leaf or grass or whatever it's called in this game. But it doesn't say what type it is. Uh, oh well, whatever. Eat it. Leaf slash. Okay, so Arcane Bolt is just magic damage. Okay. So magic is like its own... Its own sort of uh, separate thing, I guess. Cool. Okay. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to mention. This game has skill trees. Oh. Oh, I love it. I forgot to mention that. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I gotta say. Like, this is pretty dope. So yeah, each attack has uh, skill points that can like increase the. I I don't know. I I sound like I'm kind of fangirling out right now, but but I think this is dope as hell. And it's so nice that I can play it with a controller. Open Cestus. Cestus. Oh God, is this guy one gonna want to fight me? Wait. Oh, cool. Look at that. Check this out. Go. So I can do a little bit of gliding with this uh, 
Roxas is picking me up. Oh, he doesn't want to fight? Pussy. Hey friend, you were just starting as a monster teamer, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make the, mon the monsters stronger by equipping them. Thanks, bro. Kunai. <laughs> this guy has a funny hat. Obtained hide. This guy gonna tell me to use the gliding function? Hey fellow keeper, did you know that every single one of the monsters possesses a special ability? You can use your familiar's ability to fly up to the chest up there. Yeah, I know. So now my question is, if I started with a different familiar, w would this area be different? Like, would I start on a different section of the world or something? I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, I, I think I'm going to mess around with that at some point. Like, different file. Ooh, it's this birdie. Oh, there's two of them. I don't want to fight the second one. I want to fight the birdie. Stupid slime. Okay, so this one is not weak to fire, but for some reason the fire does the most damage. Okay, wait, wait. So fi the fire attack is physical damage. The lightning attack is magic damage. The feather storm is also physical damage, but it's probably not very effective, right? Whoops. Okay, whatever. Might. Oh, it increased their attacks. Okay, let's see the buffs. Let's see the buffs here. Yeah, physical attacks. Okay. Uh, and you're dead. Oh, um... I, I tried experimenting with the levels of my mic and stuff. I think this is good, but if it ends up kind of sucking, just let me know in the comments. Um, it, it always ends up different depending on, on what you're listening on. Like sometimes I'll, I'll make a video with background music and I'll listen on my headphones and it sounds good. And if I turn the background up anymore, it sounds too loud. But then I'll, oh cool, I got an egg. But but then if I, if I do it, the, then if I play it on my phone, like play the video on my phone it, it sounds uh too uh like you can't even hear the music so anyways if you guys have headphones in or whatever just let me know if it sounds okay because i think it's a little more important with headphone people just because if the music is too loud then it could kind of hurt your ears and stuff uh inventory yay okay this one's a bird Hmm. What should we name the bird? What should we name the bird? <sighs> hmm. I'm not sure. I wanted to name one of them Crank, but I'm, I'm kind of saving that for like an OP looking one. <laughs> Uh, off the top of my head, who should I make the bird? Okay, I'm, I'm taking too long. Well, you know what? We'll make the bird, uh, uh, you know what, Missura. Let's go, Missura. You're a bird now. You're not a Routes anymore. If I get a lot of like active people commenting, like like I, I I try my best to like, believe it or not, I try my best to like answer everybody's like read and answer everybody's comments, um, and I try to remember each subscriber. Like I I really do try. Like like um, YouTube has this feature where it'll where it'll tell you, man prospered. Sorry, man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected dirt wheel and later steam and by steel. Okay, cool. But yeah, so um. YouTube has this feature where they can see where someone has previously commented if it's on your channel. And, um, what is that? So I, I, I use that, um, sometimes to, to sort of remember who's who. 
but generally speaking, like I, I remember most of my subs, like with most of the regular commenters, like like uh, I, I try my best anyway. It's been getting a little crazy lately, <laughs> if I'm being quite honest. I haven't been feeling the I haven't been feeling too well either. I've been having really bad migraines and stuff lately. Uh, that's why in my Monster Tamer video I, I might have sounded a little weird. I, I just I haven't been feeling well at all. Uh, let's go open. I keep hitting the wrong button to open. Okay, we got a gauntlet. Right keeper stronghold, left keeper's trail. Well, let's go to the stronghold. Wait. Right is a stronghold. Okay, let's go to the trail. Wait, what's down then? Oh, just a chest. I keep doing that. Okay, wait, I feel like I can I can make it. Okay, maybe not. I probably need something else to do that. Or or that might just be a way back from somewhere. I do appreciate the mini-map, though. Oh, no. These guys are trying to... I already have you. I don't want to fight you. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, it's cool. Okay, so you, you, you'll switch sides based on where you are. That's nice, too. Beating, uh, physical damage, applies might. Okay, let's do that. Might me up, bro. Oh yeah. Take it. Arcane attack kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, I guess we could start. We could start beating. Pretty rude things going on here. What? Am I like healing at the end of every turn? What is that? Okay. I did this so I could kill them with Arcane Bolt. Okay, beating. Yeah, all it does, all it says is that it's gonna hurt them. It doesn't really say it does anything else. Oh, explosion's not gonna kill, eh? That's too bad. Get out. Yeah. Oh, it's stamina regeneration. Okay. Or mana, rather. Okay. I got a walnut, guys. I, I like how seamless the combat is, too. Any reason for me to... Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, God damn it. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. Diadem? 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 I don't know how the fuck to say that. Okay. Uh, hit the wrong button again. Man knew of who, man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond. Yet, for the treasures within he longed, for the greed of the kings was great. Oh ho ho! No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I want to get to like a, a good spot to end this because it's already been what uh, 25 minutes about man pledged the deepest abyss for red uh, foraged attacked and slew these endeavors were without solace the cost of humanity nobody knew 
Damn, son. Stone's got some, uh... Got some straight-up philosophy. Y'all are trying to get philosophical on me real quick, eh? Treasure! I feel like there's a lot to explore. Okay, that... That thing looks like a boss. <laughs> Fight it. <laughs> it's got a sword. I need it. Okay, uh... You suck. Let's might the team. Feather storm. Take it. Who do you think you're healing, bro? What do you like? Like, I, I'm not. I'm not too sure about this. Like, who, who do you think you are? Okay, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna heal. There you go. Then we're gonna go for the might again. Will that just keep increasing my damage? Or doesn't, does it? Is it just the I, I can only do the one buff? Is that is that how this works? Because it looks like I can only do the one buff. Okay. I'll go with Featherstorm. Yeah, it's getting pretty annoying. This cat might be an issue. Yeah, I guess might. Yeah, might's just like a status. It's not something that you can just keep, keep, uh, keep adding. I guess. I'm just gonna go for the cat. Because that blob's just going to keep healing itself. Oh, it healed the cat this time. You know what? I'm going to get like one star on this fight. Okay, we're going to go for beating and then I'm just going to finish it off with uh, Roxas over here. Get out. Yeah, all the blob is good for is healing, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's see. Let's beat, beat him up, beat him up a little. Oh, do I not have enough stamina to do anything? Uh, uh, okay. Can I? Uh, can I skip my turn or something? Am I not able to skip my turn if I don't have uh... Oh, I can just do a basic attack, okay. There we go. Soften him up a little bit. Maybe a beating can finish him? Nope, of course not. Okay, beating on him. And just take out the cat. Get out of here. There we go. And goodbye. Watch. W one star, I'm calling this one. One star. I got two stars, surprisingly. And I didn't get a cat egg. That makes me sad. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna call it a day from here. Let's just see what this says. But then came the four. 
free from greed or any other sin, who listened to the voice within, struck a wound to the realm's core. Okay, so the four is obviously referring to us. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to call it a day from here. Uh, but before we do, let's check out some of this uh, equipment. Okay, so they can all have weapons. Uh, you know what? Screw the blob. Let's start with Roxas. Okay. Sorry, Barry. But, but, but <laughs> you're the blob, so sorry. <laughs> uh, adds to defense. What are those other two stats? Those, like, uh... Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, sorry, I was looking at the bottom. I shouldn't have been, I should've been looking here. Oh, it's gonna take away, it's gonna take away from my magic if I put this on? Oh, hold on one sec. Can I remove this? There we go. Oh, okay, no it doesn't. It's just telling me the difference. I'm gonna give him, like, the best thing. Which I think is, is pretty good. Okay, we'll give him the Cestus. Damn. I'm just gonna make Roxas OP. I don't even know if uh, what I'm doing is even good. Just give him everything. Crit chance. That was like a defensive item. I'm gonna give him the crit chance. Okay. And you can have a wooden stick. You can have... Wait, does a wooden stick actually give you magic power? What the heck? Okay. Well, what are your attacks, first of all? Your t well, your attack is your better stat, so we'll, we'll give you... A, we'll give you the Morning Star. You can have the gauntlet and this and nothing for Barry because Barry's not very good unfortunately but yeah guys if you did enjoy um, my disorganized behaviors and not knowing what I'm doing if that's something you enjoy make sure to like and subscribe uh, I have plenty of monster sanctuary let's plays to come and like I said once I'm done We'll be doing a bunch of videos going over uh, the different aspects of the game. Trust me, I, I, I learn quick enough. Well, once I get through it, I'll, I'll start like really researching all the all the different um, systems that exist and how they work. I, I, I get really in depth once I finish. But for now, you get to watch me fumble around like an idiot. Um, plenty of just monster tamer stuff in general on this channel. So if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Gym Leader Ed. Uh, check out our subscriber discord for that giveaway and uh, yeah until next time peace